Hello ladies and gents. I hope you are all doing really well. I most certainly am, even if things are super busy since the beginning of the year, with no sign of things cooling down even a little bit in the upcoming months either. Not that I would be complaining, I really don't mind working 12 plus hours on most days to make my dream happen, but I feel that I need to make some changes to avoid an eventual burnout and also to ensure a constant improvement in quality. Also, as you probably noticed, I barely find the time these days to interact with you guys, which is certainly not cool. So, what I wanted to talk about today are a couple of changes around here, some of which you might have already noticed, as well as some bigger projects that I'm working on at the moment. As you might be well aware, I like to try things out apart from making videos, building the Just For Laws Empire brick by brick. Now, as part of streamlining things a bit, I decided to abandon some of these side quests that took quite a lot of my time with marginal return only. The first sacrifice I will have to make is my beloved wartime block that I built from scratch with these two hands in WordPress myself. While I absolutely love researching and writing military themed articles, I decided to discontinue the blog by the end of this year with no further articles being released until then, as I just simply don't have enough time for it at the moment. I'm afraid a similar fate is awaiting the regular Monday streams as well, although I won't give up streaming completely. I will still stream on special occasions and during giveaways, and I might bring it back to the regular schedule later on, but right now I just have to prioritize a little bit not to lose my focus. I already miss hanging out with you guys though, so expect some special streams popping up here and there. I'm also making some changes to the schedule, again with the aim to free up some time that I can then reinvest into something else. The main changes will be regarding Tuesdays and Thursdays videos, where Tuesday was typically the day for the commentated epic replays, while Thursday was more of a wildcard, but it was typically a commentated video as well. Now as from next week, most Thursdays content will depend entirely from my workload that week. It's absolutely possible that you will receive an extra episode from the non-commentated pure gameplay series if things are super busy, or you might receive something a lot more funky, depends on the week really. Either way, you will see it in advance from the weekly schedule every Monday. As for Tuesdays, on this day we will still pretty much always have a commentated video, but I want to explore a couple of new ideas as well, next to the usual gameplay commentary, including best and worst top lists that have been super popular on the channel before, so that should be a lot of fun. I also think about occasionally showing you my own Ace Tanker gameplays as well, which some of you actually requested, and I do have some other crazy ideas too, so Tuesdays should be a lot more vibrant than ever before. By the way, talking about the schedule, I know that with patch 9.18 at our doorstep, a lot of you expect the Arty Party series, that's now a regular thing on Fridays, to be put to rest with the upcoming artillery changes. This is definitely not the case. To be honest, I really don't think that we will be left without funny moments even after the changes will be applied. I mean, sure, we will probably see a drop in those crazy one-shot kills, but at the same time, almost guaranteed there will be an increase in multi-kill shots instead, so I guess there is that. I guess we will have to see what will happen, but as I already said previously, I'm pretty certain that RNG will find a way to entertain us one way or another. So, quite a few changes around here then. You probably are wondering what's keeping me so busy these days, apart from the 7 regular videos every week. Well, currently I'm working on two major projects and a couple of smaller sponsorship deals to keep the boat afloat. About this though, don't worry, I will always keep sponsored content at a very minimum and I will always fully disclose them, as it should be. About those projects though. So first of all, I'm trying to get a little bit more into the Russian market at the moment, which is absolutely huge for this game. And where, let's be honest, I'm not particularly known at the moment yet. For the moment, I decided to set up a mirror channel where I publish Russian versions of my funny compilations, basically getting the lines translated for a fee and then creating a separate video for them that I upload there. Now this is quite a bit of extra work, basically it's plus 3 videos, so that brings me to 10 videos a week, Jesus. And I actually have to invest a little bit of money as well, and at the end of the line, you know how extremely tough it can be to start a new channel and then bring it up to speed, especially if you don't even speak the language of your targeted audience. 
In conclusion, if some of you out there speak Russian and wouldn't mind giving some of these videos a quick look, that would actually help me a ton. At the moment, to be frank, I'm not really sure how much of the jokes are lost in translation, so it would be great to have some feedback before I look into the marketing of the channel. The link to my Russian channel is down below, thanks a million in advance. Now the other project I'm working on will be a lot more relevant to a lot of you, as I have been actually working together with some artists to create some epic t-shirt designs. I really really like what we have created until now, so it will be very soon time to reveal them to all of you. Unlike most YouTube t-shirt sales campaigns, these designs are actually focused on the World of Tanks universe in general instead of just my own channel, so I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will appreciate them regardless if they are a subscriber or not. I'm quite frankly super excited about rolling this one out, which will probably happen in the next couple of weeks. Right now the only thing I have left to do is to test out the supplier with a few designs of my own that I will wear for Tankfest this year. So whew, that was a lot of stuff to talk about, wasn't it? And I didn't even touch on half the ideas floating around in my head. But I guess we will have to leave something for next time as well. Alright, maybe just one more. So, as you probably might have seen on Facebook and Twitter already, I'm thinking about creating a how to climb video specifically for patch 9.18. So, as soon as you have the latest patch and want to get featured, just send me some 9.18 replays on how to get up to the most ridiculous locations in the latest version of World of Tanks. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I really hope that you didn't fall asleep halfway through. And as usual, I already look forward to seeing you again in one of the next videos.